please see the link below the video for a special $30 cashback sign up bonus on a program that has given me up to 15% cash back for my everyday online and in-person retail purchases. See it for yourself, guys. All right, friends, the cost of gas is going up as well as a lot of food. So we are going to play a little game here. Only for a lot of people, both in the United States and around the world, this is not really a game. A quick thank you to all my PayPal and Cash App contributors for making my videos possible. Now, a few YouTubers already do this kind of video. Mornings with Granny is one person, for example, that does this kind of video. All right, so what we're going to do is take a bag of flour, two apples, about three quarters of a bag of black eyed peas, a can of tuna, and salt and pepper. Now we're saying if this is all you had to live on for four days, all right, what would you make out of it? Okay, how would you survive on this for about four days? Let's say you are not going to get paid for another four days or your social security doesn't come in or your food stamps or you won't be able to go back to the food pantry for a few days. How would you live on these items? But we are going to throw in a little bonus here, okay? Let's say you had $3 that you can spend on other ingredients. What would you do? Now, we're not gonna say things here like, um, I would get a job or something like that because you could get a job, but remember, you really wouldn't get paid in general for another week or two. So let's just st stick with this concept here, okay? So I don't really have that many great ideas for these ingredients. So this that's why it's a game, because we're all involved here, okay? So my initial ideas are, let's say I would maybe make some apple fritters if I could buy some oil, right, and maybe some baking powder, right? So that would take up the entire $3, and I would have to go to a really affordable store, maybe Dollar Tree, I think in many cases even Walmart might not have these ingredients because when I go to Walmart they seem to be geared towards larger sizes like larger quantities of uh, food for a larger amount of money so instead of having something small like let's say a Dollar Tree would have like a 10 ounce jar you would get like a 30 ounce jar 32 ounce jar from Walmart so Walmart is not always the cheapest option but I know for a lot of people it might be the only option Okay, so the apple fritters with some uh, baking powder and oil. I could also make some, some black eye pea fritters. I could do the same thing. Mix the tuna and the black eye peas together. So th this is what I'm really thinking, okay? Would make a meal out of this. I'm thinking I could make some pasta, homemade pasta with the flour and the oil right I could do that and some water just homemade pasta with tuna and peas and I could actually make quite a bit of pasta let's see what else I could do I could also just do something really simple and easy I could spend a few dollars like maybe two dollars on rice and mix the rice and black eyed peas and tuna and just make as much as I can out of that one big pot and just eat from it for a number of days and eat the apples on the side, maybe not even incorporate the flour. Those are ideas. Now, if I bought baking powder and oil, I could also make some pan-fried bread, especially since I'll have salt, so that'll you know make it taste um, a little better than not having salt at all. I could do that and then have the tuna and black eye peas as the main dish, you know, have the bread on the side. But I would really be interested to know what you all would do with these limited foods. I add, I have salt and pepper in here because most people, even when they have like nothing left, usually do have salt and pepper. Okay, so, but that's the challenge here. And remember, $3 can go quite far. If you go to the right store, you know, maybe there's a sale. But often what happens is there's really basic cheap staple ingredients that you can get. Like 
rice, right? So we already have some beans here or peas. And sometimes you can get hot dogs. You could get a jar of peanut butter and a loaf of bread and make this stretch and like make even more out of this. There's really all kinds of things you can do. What really makes this exciting is that you have $3 in this challenge to add whatever you want. And I'll tell you, sometimes you go looking around your house, you can <laughs> look in between the couch cushions, look under the bed, and you will find some, mo some money. I remember when I was a kid, I was about six years old, and my mom was on her bed uh, with my sister, like they were having a talk, you know, like a mother-daughter talk. And I had no idea what they were like, you know, getting into because I was just like six years old. So I spent that time <laughs> crawling under the bed because I started finding like these like shiny coins. And so I, I just started crawling under the bed collecting coins. And I think I had about like maybe over a dollar sixty and change when I came out from the bed. And I'm not sure I really knew how to count the money back then. But I was all excited. I was like, hey, look what I found. You know, I, I mean, I knew it was money and I wanted to keep it. But my mom was like, all right, that's mine. <laughs> I think she gave me a quarter out of it. But, you know, um, she I know she did actually spend that money on food, though. All right, guys. So anyway, that's the challenge. Please let me know in the comments what your ideas are for these ingredients. And also you tell me like what store you would go to as well. I know like I probably would go to a Dollar Tree in this case, even though right now they are like the dollar twenty-five cent tree <laughs> in many places. I think I would still start there and see what I could do. Alright. So I will see you guys in the comments and I'm really excited to find out what you might do. Talk to you soon. Hey guys, this is a quick note for those of you who signed up through Rakuten. I'm trying to get the message out here that when you sign up and you want the $30 cash back, you have to make your $30 or more purchase within 90 days of signing up to get your $30 cash back. Okay, and I'm also running this promotion until March 31st. So if you sign up by March 31st, you can take advantage of the $30 cash back offer. So I'll probably be running another promotion after that. I just don't know if it's going to be as high as $30, okay? So that's a no. And then I want to show you these two items that I bought through Rakuten that I got large cash back uh, returns on. So this is a tablet that I bought last year. And this was, I'm looking at my expense list here. This was $99.99 and I got $15 cash back on this in my PayPal, so that was a very pleasant purchase to make. They were running, I think, um, it was either double or triple cash back uh, rebate special. So they run, Rakuten runs specials like that, and that's when I really like to make my purchases, when they're running those like double and triple return offers. And this is the other one. This is an external drive by Western Digital and because like when you're a YouTuber or you produce any kind of content, you have to save your content externally just in case anything happens. So this was $119.99 and I got $12 back on it. So to begin with, these were both really great prices that I got. I shopped really smartly on these items and on top of that, I shopped on days when Rakuten was really running those like double or triple cashback specials. Okay guys, I hope this rebate program information is useful to you. It's one of the few programs I actually use because I'm pretty lazy in terms of, you know, putting a lot of apps and stuff on my my uh, devices. I really don't like to do that. So this one is the one that has really continuously given me results in cashback and savings.